So what did you think then about the Jimmy Savile stuff being kept secret for so long at the BBC? Well, it was a guy called Mark Williams Thomas who did the expose on Jimmy Savile. Um, and I met him once to do a story about um, Peter Files and got his advice and seems like a very straight-headed guy. And I think that the problem with Savile was everyone was terrified of him because he used to threaten to sue people and they were all the all the signs looked like they were there, didn't they? I mean, it, it, that Louis Theroux interview where he almost had him on the rails, you know. And uh, I think it, it was a sign of the times, wasn't it? I mean, so many things um, that sort of went on over that time period where people just seem to turn a blind eye are quite extraordinary. I still um, shiver uh, when I look at that footage of um, Savile with, um, uh, the, oh God, the, you know, the guy who was the um, leader of the pack, uh, the other paedophile who was... Um, my, my, my Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter. Have you seen yeah. that footage of them both on top of the pots together? I've not. No, is it on YouTube? Yeah. It just makes you shudder. But then you kind of, I don't know, do we all expressly in our heads will not want to believe that that kind of thing goes on you know it's it's you know there's there's part i think there's part of human nature that i mean i met jimmy savile you met him i met him yeah what was that like well you know he's like big into running and he used to and i had a disabled brother and i was pushing my brother around the serpentine with my granny and we were doing a sponsored run and up comes Jimmy Savile. And <laughs> I guess I would have been quite young. And he's perfectly, seemed perfectly nice. And I think he was the best guy. And he was, Jimmy Savile fixes it for everybody. And he seemed like this great guy. And I was just left with this great impression. And I'm sure that most people, if you weren't being abused by Jimmy Savile, had that impression of him. But it really took um, Mark Williams Thomas to, to basically, forensically, go through the cases and find a pattern of behavior and it just goes to show because how many victims he had and it, it you know it took a documentary to find it was only like five victims that he pr produced to start with who sh the patterns were behavior was so similar that eventually but even then it was only after he died and i just wonder if he was still alive you know whether that would have yet come out because it, it's, you know, the, the rules and regulations about putting something like that on the telly and saying this guy is effectively, you've got, to, you've got to jump some real hurdles to do that. 